Hey YouTube, Epi Wolf is back with another uh, pipe and tobacco video. Today we are smoking Airmore Flake. Uh, this one is a uh, flake tobacco. It comes in uh, thin little slices and it's composed of uh, Virginia Burley. Uh, it's got a little bit of a top note that's uh, kind of like pineapple I think. Uh, as far as aromatics go, this is one I like. Um, the little government warning label must have annoyed me at some point. I tried to <laughs> like scrape it off there. Um, and I've had this tin for a while. And it's actually the last of it is what I've gotten here today. Today's pipe is a K. Woody Saxon. And... Um, there's a reason I picked this pipe today. Uh, first of all, because I've enjoyed it with this particular tobacco before. Second of all, because I visited the store where I bought this pipe today. Uh, over the last two days, uh, businesses have been reopening in Michigan after being shut down from the COVID. And so I went to four different stores over the last two days uh, thinking if they have some decent uh, pipe smoking stuff, I might buy it. You know, and um, I didn't have the highest hopes, but I was pretty well disappointed. In fact, the only thing I ended up buying after going through four different stores was some Carter Hall. And that was basically just out of curiosity and because I like the guy that owns the, uh, the store I bought that from. He, uh, he's the one that has estate pipes pretty often, so um, I like to support him. I didn't really care for any of the estate pipes I saw yesterday, but I wanted to buy something. I actually bought this tin of Aaron Moore from him, um, but he charges like $20 for a tin of this, and um, you can get online for like half that price. So <laughs> Yesterday we just got the Carter Hall, which he charges $375 for, so... Um, you know, that's fine to take a chance and see if we end up liking that stuff. So yeah, I bought this uh, K. Woody at a uh, local shop. And it's not a, uh, a real pipe forward sort of shop. It's, it's called At The Point Pipe Shop. And it has a big picture of like a, a bent billiard on their sign. And it's not a franchise, it's an individual place. Uh, but it's mostly... A paraphernalia shop for uh, um, marijuana smoking supplies but it used to be the last time I was in there six or seven years ago the proprietor's dad she told me actually liked smoking briar and so she had some decent pipes and uh, she had some uh, Mac Baron tobaccos uh, she had a lot of Kamoys, and actually, uh, I think that's where I got my first, uh, I don't know, one of my first English blends from is from her. And uh, she had the Kamoys, Mac Baron, the Captain Black, and all that sort of stuff that all these places have. Um, but then she had some neat pipes to the uh, K. Woody, she had some nice Meerschaums. I, I bought a Meerschaum from her at one point for uh, my dad and uh, some Italian basket pipes that turned out to be really nice as well. Um, but I went back to that store today. Man. So the trend with most of these stores I went to seems to be that they have like these pear wood or whatever sort of softer type of wood, not briar, pipes that are like made in China or something. And they're just junk. You know, in that store that used to have these K. Woodies, I went in there and there's a guy I didn't know behind the counter and I told him, look, I like briar pipes. Uh, can I see what you have? And he said, well, I don't really know anything about those. And I said, well, I'll, I'll tell you about them. Why don't you show me, uh, pull out this tray and let me see what you got. And, you know, they had two Italian briars, or no, they're Irish briars. And I didn't recognize the name and they wanted like 60 bucks for them. And I, I, I wasn't all that into them for... Uh, well, the purchase one today, but I showed him, I was like, this is a briar pipe. This is the Chinese thing you're trying to sell people. That's not a real pipe. And, um, 
That's kind of what I ran into everywhere. <laughs> Other than the, uh, the place that has the estate pipe sometimes. But I went to a couple of franchise stores too. And uh, the one of them used to have a lot of bulk pipe tobacco. They had nothing. And the guys working there told me that uh, it's gone out of style. It's, uh, it's extinct, basically. And I was like, oh, all right, thanks. <laughs> but I was a little disappointed. I was hoping to uh, support those stores that still carry some uh, nice products I'd be interested in. And they just weren't out there. Luckily, we've got I Lie Realtors, so uh, I've been able to get great stuff from them. And uh, yeah, the pipe smoking carries on, even if the uh, local stores think it's extinct or whatever. Um, I had half a mind to, I don't know, like write a letter to their management or something like, hey, carry some decent stuff and people will buy it. You're wasting your money on, you know, all this other junk you have. But. I don't know, maybe people wouldn't buy it. Maybe I'd be the only one. Although, uh, I think somebody's buying some some other stuff. The one shop that has the estate pipes, he also had, I don't know, at least a couple dozen Missouri Meerschaums last time I went in there. And yesterday when I stopped by there, he only had like five left. So maybe people are just buying it as a novelty or something, but uh, they disappeared. He's actually got a pretty neat shop to it. It's cigar focused. Um, I guess a lot of police officers meet there and have some kind of cigar smoking club or something. But um, yeah, he's got a great humidor. Um, he's got a couple of big English bulldogs running around behind the counter. And uh, him and his wife are there. Um, a lot of times I walk in, he's uh, sitting in his little cordoned off area uh, smoking a cigar and uh, watching television or something and or hanging out with people and uh, it's a cool atmosphere I really like that store so like I said I, I had to buy something when I went in there even though I wasn't really particularly interested in anything um, yeah great place so called Smokes on Burdick I mentioned it before found some great estate pipes there uh, this K Woody it's a pretty simple pipe, but I really enjoy it. I was hoping I'd find something like this uh, when I went back to that other store today, but like I said, it was just, <laughs> it had changed. I actually asked the guy, is this owned by the same people that uh, used to own it? And he told me it was, but um, I don't know. Maybe it's just business, you know? Nobody buys the, uh, the real pipe products of any sort and you know I probably would have uh, I don't know if they had some more unique pouches or some other stuff I might have picked it up but I'm just not interested in you know all these Captain Blacks and things like that all the time I mean you know maybe it'd be all right to get some more Captain Black at some point but I haven't smoked it in years and not really missing it Maybe I'll explore some more. Uh, I work in another town, Battle Creek, that's about uh, 20 miles east of here. And uh, I have a friend that smokes pipe in Battle Creek, and he told me there's some stuff at another, uh, you know, mom and pop shop out there. So maybe I'll stop by there sometime. Uh, there's also a pipe shop in uh, Flint that's supposed to be great. So I guess if I want to buy something from somebody local, I can figure it out. Um, it just depends, I guess, how far I want to take it. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for joining me. See you later.